Some of you guys faced an issue after connecting your Bluetooth device into your machine is that it is connected only for the music, not for voice. That means you can use it for hearing audio from the device or machine, but you cannot use your microphone to make any video calls, audio calls, etc. So here I have tried different ways to solve that issue and I will show you what are those things and finally what I have done successfully to make it. So first I went to the device manager, the Bluetooth options, uh, here you can see the drivers for uh, my Bluetooth device and uh, I just tried to update my driver but it says that the bus drivers for your device are already installed. In your case if you are using old version of uh, your Bluetooth driver this may work. Next what I have done is deleting these two drivers of my Oppo Bluetooth device so that I can reconnect my device and see whether this will work. Closing the device manager and going to the Bluetooth setting and uh, so now it is not visible and not turning off and uh, going turning it on again and you see the device name is still there it is not completely removed. Let's go back to device manager and see whether it is still there the driver is there or not. yeah it is that it came back so this kind of issues uh, some of you may face and then uh, okay instead of removing from there uh, just go back and remove it from here okay now it is done removed let's go back to device manager and see whether it is completely removed from there or not yeah now it is removed from there also after this point I have tried to reconnect my device and see whether that will work but unfortunately that didn't work for me but uh, you can try this option also. Then only option left with is to reinstall the Bluetooth driver. Since I am using HP laptop I went to HP laptop drivers from Google. If you are using a different laptop you can search for that particular device driver online. The support hp.com is the official website of HP where you can download all the drivers and support softwares. Click on the software and drivers tab and uh, from here you select laptop. You can either enter serial number of your laptop or uh, let HP dictate your product. Dictate your uh, device automatically this HP support assistance software should be installed otherwise it will not. Otherwise it will prompt you to download at this particular moment so you can download and install it. I am now allowing HP to automatically dictate my PC and show me the drivers. It's just in the confirmation that this website is about to initiate a product detection. Do you wish to proceed? I am clicking OK. It's identifying and very quickly I got the result. Clicking on the device shows the drivers category. And in the category driver network you will find the driver for Bluetooth. Here you see the first driver is Broadcom Bluetooth driver and the third one is MediaTek Rallink Bluetooth software driver. If you find multiple drivers for your PC and one has issues and then definitely you can go with the second one. Proceed further and complete the installation of this driver. After installation of every driver you make sure that you restart your computer to make that driver work properly. Now back to my Bluetooth setting and adding my Bluetooth band. Now my device is detected and we connect it. Ok it is connected now, it is not showing the status so it is connected only with the music or also with the voice. The reason behind that is I haven't restarted my computer after installing the driver. It's fine I can do it even after. Now let me disconnect this device or reconnect my bluetooth. Now my device is reconnecting and uh, now it shows connected voice and music. And from here you make sure that it is showing hands-free AG audio and stereo audio two separate ones and it is showing the remaining battery level of my device as well it was not showing earlier. Right click on the speaker icon and select sounds and under the recording tab you can find your device the microphone of your Bluetooth device. To adjust the volume right click on it and click on properties and go to levels and adjust your volume over here that is microphone volume. And if you want to adjust the volume of audio output you can do the same thing under playback tab. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the like button.